Okay, so how did Jen tell you she was pregnant? Jen told me that I was uh, that she was pregnant by pulling up to pick me up at work, and she told me to look down into the cup holder, and in the cup holder was a pregnancy test, and that was all I needed to know is that you were pregnant, Jen. Um, she she took a test, um, and then told me. So, how would you describe Jen's pregnancy and does she have any aversions or cravings? Her pregnancy has been pretty smooth except for some back pain um, and it, the cravings that she's had, she's had a lot of unsweetened iced tea and sweet cookies and Oreos and Girl Scout cookies. That's pretty much it. Um, pregnancy so far has been actually pretty good. Um, she hasn't had, I don't think, too many mood swings, um, been too crabby, you know, um, or happy, or just been normal stuff. Um, cravings, maybe, I don't know if she really have, has any cravings right now, maybe just oranges. She used to want oranges in the morning, but she doesn't want that anymore, so I don't know what she really craves right now. Maybe that'll come later, so. Um, how did you tell your family that you were pregnant? My, when we told my family that we were pregnant, we went to my parents' house with a bag of tomatoes, or sorry, a bag of um, pesto leaves, and we offered a trade between pesto leaves and tomatoes, and that got us into the door, and we told my parents that Sammy needed a friend. Sammy, our cat, needed a new, uh, new partner. And my mom asked, oh, what, you gonna get another cat? And we told them, no, the baby's coming in April. That's how my parents knew and my mom cried. Oh, um, I don't remember actually. <laughs> um, we told mom and dad first and then we waited to tell the rest of our family when we were with them, so. Okay. What was the first gift you received for the baby? The first gift we received, I believe, is it is it bought or, or, or received? Because we bought some stuff. Received. First gift we received was a Harvard hoodie, a uh, Harvard t-shirt from uh, the Schultes. First gift received, um, wow, that's a good question. Might have been a, a car, <coughs> car mirror from uh, the Watsons. What are you most nervous about? I am most nervous about him in the early days, the diapers cleaning up all the diapers, and learning to deal with him as a teenager. If it's anything like Jen, it'll be very difficult. Good deal. Okay, so we know you don't know the sex of the baby. Right. But you guys have talked about names, I assume. Yeah. What are three names on your list that Steph crossed off right away? Oh, we don't have lists. Oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. I don't know if I was I really had any serious names that she crossed off. My name so I'd have been kind of silly, and then she crossed them off. I Elizabeth maybe or Liz she crossed that one off, but I don't know. That's that's the only one I have. First three names Jen struck off my list of names was Optimus Prime, Megatron, and. Luke Skywalker. What physical feature of yours do you hope that the baby does not get? <laughs> I hope he doesn't get <laughs> my my hairiness. Yeah, you're pretty hairy. <laughs> does not get um well. My ears. Your ears? Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at those ears. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
What <laughs> physical feature of Steph's do you hope the baby does get? Does get. Um, wow. Her nose. <laughs> I hope my baby gets Jen's eyes, because I love Jen's eyes. Good deal. Um, okay, when is the baby's due date, and what is your prediction on the date and time of arrival? Well, the due date is May 28th, 2014. Uh, my prediction on the date of arrival, arrival is May 15th. Time of day? Time of day, oh. It's gonna, hopefully it'll be like 3.30 in the afternoon. The baby is due on April 21st. I believe the baby will be here on April 16th at, at about five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, what classes have you and Seth taken to prepare for delivery or baby? We have not taken any yet. We have taken Lamaze classes for three weeks. We did that. Other than that, um, that's it so far. You got more planned? Yes, we do have a breastfeeding class to go to in April. Jen, I don't want to go. I think on weekends when you guys are both around, who do you think will change the most diapers? Mm, probably me. This guy is going to change the most diapers. It's kind of a, that's my job, I think, so we'll see what happens. You can't put it in the front end, might as well clean it up on yeah, the back end. that's true. <laughs> I owe her nine months. <laughs> um, okay, so if you were to take your names, um, Steph and Brett, and you are going to combine them to make your baby's name, what would that mean? What would, what would the baby's name be? Oh, Brethany? <laughs> um... Uh, it would be Jonifer. Yep, Jonifer. Um, what, what, uh, what would you say to Steph about the baby or adding a baby to your family? Well, I think it's a really great thing and I'm very um, excited to um, enter this chapter in our lives and can't wait to, uh, for the baby to come out so we can, you know, hold it and it'll be ours. So that'd be awesome. Jen, I'm extremely excited that I get to see you become a mom, to love our son um, unconditionally, to see you witness who Christ is to you and who God is. Um, I'm excited to see that uh, more than anything else and to see how our family just interacts with each other, how he talks back to you and how you deal with that. <laughs> um, and uh, I wanted, I'm excited to see if I'm as pushover as I am with our cat, uh, with him.